Hey, what's up guys? So the TV I've got there in the background, I've not had any soundbar with it. And one thing I really wanted to do is get better audio for it. So I bought this new speaker set. It's called the Tepio V from a company called Bowmaker. It's a wireless soundbar with a subwoofer and it is 100 watt power. It gives four full range drivers in there to give you a full 360 surround sound in stereo speakers. And it also packs a high volume of 110 decibels. Now it does come with a punchy deep bass as well. So what I'm gonna do is set this up with the TV. And one of the reasons why I like this soundbar and it's called a Tapio V is because you can actually split the soundbar into two, connect them together and create a little V shape that gives you a surround sound to your whole living room. So let me go ahead and set this up and give you a sample of the audio and run through some of the features and the different modes that come with it. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so this is everything that comes in the box. So you've got your power cable there just to connect the soundbar. You've got two pieces of the soundbar itself. This is the cable that will actually connect the soundbars individually if you want to create that V shape. This is the optical cable. If you connect this to the soundbar, this will go with your TV to create the output. You also get an audio line cable as well. You have the uh, subwoofer there, and then you also have a remote control, which has all of the standard buttons as well to change the different modes and to control the volumes and the power as well. So that's everything there. It's pretty standard, and I'm gonna go ahead, connect this, and then give you a rundown of all the different buttons and ports that come on the actual soundbar. All right guys, so these are the connectors there for each of the soundbars. You literally just clip them into each other like so and then you twist and there you go they're now interlocked so this soundbar has a slim design with an led display on the front that you can see that cycles through the different modes the subwoofer itself is four inches tall to complement the soundbar and it's connected directly via a cable to the soundbar itself but it also supports auxiliary usb bluetooth 5.0 optical and a micro sd tf card input as well there's five equalizer modes, movie, music, and news modes upgrade your home entertainment with a high quality audio performance boost. The bass plus and game mode enhance the viewing experience with a scene based sound spectrum. What that means is the audio will adjust accordingly to the scenes in your movie or game. So for example, if there's an explosion, the soundbar and the subwoofer will give you a more powerful vibration with its bass to highlight that particular scene. Now you can split the soundbar in two parts and connect using the cable that I showed you earlier. You can position it accordingly to bring the best surround sound possible. You can't use them as two separate sound sources just for your reference, but just one sound source from both speakers, but positioned differently, i.e. in a V shape. All right guys, so I've got the soundbar set up with the TV with the optical cable. I'm gonna give you two samples. I'm gonna do one with a cinematic trailer to get that punch in the bass. And I'm also gonna play some music, which is a little bit bass boosted as well to see the audio quality on that. So what I'll do is I'll take my little microphone and you guys can hear what it sounds like without the soundbar connected and then with it connected as well to see the difference. So let's take a look.
finally, I'm gonna showcase to you guys what it's like to split the soundbar and connect it using the little cable here to make it that little V shape and surround the sound as well a little bit. So we'll take a look at that now as well. Okay guys, so now I've split this into the V shape. I've got the cable connected there and I've just split it like that to cover different angles of the room. So this is to showcase what this looks like. The audio probably will sound the same at the moment, but let's go ahead and showcase what this can do. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that review useful and hopefully you could hear the difference with the audio in the soundbar compared to just the TV. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy this. Now, uh, I really like that feature of making this a V. It's just so cool and you can uh, bounce the sound off the walls and get the entire space in your living room covered in surround sound stereo audio. So, it's perfect. I'm going to use this as my daily speaker now for this TV. And if there's anything else you'd like to know about this, then uh, do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you really like that video. I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.